Hello and a warm welcome to the South Coast. We find ourselves today at St. Mary Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Southampton. Well, we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better, Hyung Min Son. What do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, three goals in the last three games. He's in great form at the moment. He's playing with confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that. And now they get the ball rolling. Good technique displayed. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Lucas. Options in the centre. Pulls it back. Jay Adams. And a tidy ball. And a chance to whip it in here. Pulls it back his opponent in the nick of time well Prowse must take the lead here and that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him Kane Pavier Oliver Skip oh nice ball over the top to chase and the challenge crisp and clean Who can they pick out? Not away completely. Rebier. And using his body to good effect. Rebier. Nicely timed tackle. Elianusi. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Well, Prowse. It might be. And it goes! The call for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the air to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. They look as though they want to make this move count. So it's going to be a goal kick here. be happy to have regained possession Harry Kane Lucas with it 
Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Son. Lucas! And a goal here for Tottenham, who have evened things up. Well, let's look at that again. I'm almost lost for words here, Derek. It's really sloppy defending. You can't be giving the ball away in such a dangerous area like that and not expect to get punished. It's just really poor. Back underway, level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Ward Prowse. Romeu. The ball with James Ward Prowse. He's going forward well here, but nothing comes of it. A really effective shielding under pressure. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Ward Prowse. El Yunusi. Preferring to go infield. Can he give them the lead? Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Losing possession here. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. And for more on the injury, let's go down to our reporter, Jeff Shreves. He landed really awkwardly on his shoulder there and is in some discomfort. He's a tough cookie. I think he'll stay out there. Cheers, Jeff. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Che Adams. Oriol Romeu. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Can he deliver it with accuracy? It might be! And there is the goal to re-establish their advantage! Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback, and then it's a pretty tidy finish too. Hits it hard, he hits it low, and it just makes it difficult for the keeper. A really nice goal. that for the first half here well not a game so far at any rate Harry Kane is going to remember fondly hasn't really been able to make his mark Stuart well he has to find space in more dangerous areas he's such a good player around the box but today he struggled to get on the ball and that's one of the reasons they're losing here And away they go again. Work to do for Spurs in this second half.
Elianusi. Ward Prowse. Armstrong. Redmond. Getting in there to intercept. Kane. Lucas. Given away by Spurs. Son. This could level it. And pull back. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. And the emphasis is on creativity. And crossed in there. Needs to clear it away. And I think the threat has been averted. Oliver Skip. Fabier. And Fabier with it. Okay. Now Song. And the cross is very much on. Corner to Tottenham. What can they do with it? And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Number 29, Oliver Skip. Coming onto the pitch, number 28, Tangai Ndombele. And now the delivery. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Armstrong. Elianusi. Losing possession. Kane. Son. Well, they need to get tighter. Fabier. Perfect tackle. Jay Adams. Armstrong. Ward Prowse. A spot on with that challenge. Now can they counter clinically? He has time to play it over. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Just 15 minutes remaining. And the ball back with Spurs now. Ndombele. This looks threatening. And a goal! who have evened things up. Well, here it is. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Bednarek. Just 10 minutes remaining here. Can they grab the lead late on? Well, lovely work to get past his man. Timely intervention. 
Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium, but can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Lucas Moura. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. Questions asked of Southampton. Now it's all about their answers. Armstrong. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Ward Prowse. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. And that is going to be all for this game. A frustrating day at the office for Southampton. No points picked up. Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. And the shining light for his team. No two ways about that. Harry Kane. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.